time to waterproof that to make sure the insulation stays dry. So I've got a giant roll of plastic and a hammer stapler. My kids were out helping me out and hanging out and just kind of playing while I was working. And they were back on the pretending to be a witch theme. So you can listen to them talking about it's you being a witch this time. That you're a witch? Burn him! How do you know he's a witch? Because they made him food. There we go. So, how do we tell when a sheep is made of food? Build a bridge out of it! Ah, but can you not also build bridges out of stone? So now we are going to level out our trailer. So we found the highest point, which is this corner right here. Put in a block underneath it to hold it up. And then we'll start leveling everything else, the rest of the other four corners of the trailer. So that way it's all level and flat and we can start building and framing from there. So this is our first time actually using, this is the jack actually for our car, but to be able to jack it all up and put blocks underneath, we only need to use the jack once. Since this is the first time we've actually used this jack, figuring out exactly how this one works is always a learning experience. Have you... I haven't even changed a tire in a car. <laughs> So I had no idea how to use a jack in the first place. Did you know where our jack was? Nope. <laughs> well, I found it. Oh, it's okay. in the back by the tires. Alright. Great thing about uh, the stuff that we have to do for this part of the trailer is it's not too much work. Where it's like you have a spare moment here or there, you can kind of get it done in less than an hour. Yeah, especially with like jacking up the trailer, it wasn't something that we had to do then. It was just something we have to do before the before we frame to make sure it's all square. Yeah. So we had some time that fit the amount of time that we had. So we we leveled the trailer. And then, well, the taping had to be done before moving on, but we. We only had a certain amount of time, so that's when we decided to do it, which is nice to have those projects. Yeah, so for this very first one, we kind of temp fitted these first two pieces because the rest of our pieces are basically going to be based off of the layout of these first two, so we took a little more extra time, and I still made the mistake of of you need to stagger them. You don't want, them, you don't want your, your flooring to be uh, lined up end to end because then it creates a weak point basically all across the, that joint. So we cut an additional two foot piece to kind of stagger them so that they, they won't be on the same layout all the way down the whole trailer. Yeah, well good thing we test fitted then. We were having problems with our air compressor. Yeah, you'll see like for multiple nails in a row you'll be hammering them in because uh, the compressor would it, it wouldn't didn't have quite enough steam to keep up with you so it when it started getting a little low you would see that like for five or six shots it wouldn't really sink the nail and then we had a storm brewing like right as we were building the tub putting the plywood down and holy crap was it a race to get everything covered also earlier that day we'd had a lumber drop so you could see me uh, moving lumber to the side of our house where you get it covered while Allie's going through and nailing what we had already put down. And then covering that up with tarps, yeah. And this is what we saw off in the distance as we were trying to put everything away and get it all covered because we knew there was a decent amount of rain coming our way. Dad, yeah. what are you doing? I'm working. Working? Yeah. Got a trailer? Yep, 
Put it on the tree. Oh, nice. Since this piece was a little awkward to get a block into knocking that corner in, I was just jumping on it to get it in the right position, and it worked out really well. Kids love dancing. Yeah. <laughs> this I'll... is when they enjoyed us working on it most, is they got to play on the trailer now. Like, we've had it for a while, and now they are actually getting to play on it. <laughs> in the trailer. See, look, he's go. It's mommy. Yeah, mommy and daddy. Wait, do wait. Get more glue. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Not blue, glue. Blue. Glue. Blue. Do that one more time Ow. and you are glue. Anybody know where that's from? <laughs> See, mommy on a computer. No. Is he ready to on the computer? On the computer. Working daddy on the, a trailer. Yeah, mommy and daddy are working on the trailer, huh? Yeah. Are we going so fast? Uh huh. We're going so fast. And with these last few shots, the mighty nail gun can now rest. The flooring is done. Hopefully it gets plenty of rest because we're going to be pulling it back out to start framing here in a little bit. We're going to be framing the walls and that's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for our future videos or feel free to go back and watch some of the previous videos of us uh, building this, this tiny house or some of our other project videos. We also have another channel over at Hold the Walnuts and there we show our efforts at gardening and cooking from scratch and trying to live healthy and just enjoy nature and try to treat it properly.